right, y'all, listen, man, we back here with another video. You know, I woke up this morning and I was like, hmm, I kind of want to make a video, but I don't know what I want to make a video on. I literally just made a video last night. I told you guys I was about to be on this grind, but um, I was thinking about a video idea that I wanted to make, and I literally just had a light bulb. The playoffs is literally right around the corner, and I know there's people talking about possibly the Suns going to the championship or possibly, you know, the Warriors or damn out east, maybe the Milwaukee Bucks do a repeat or, you know, the Nets figure it out and they go to the championship or shit, maybe even the Philadelphia 76ers with James Harden and um, Joel Embiid. But now I was thinking maybe we should talk about the teams that nobody else is talking about. Maybe we should talk about the teams who are maybe slept on in the playoffs or maybe have a chance to go to the playoffs and actually do some damage and maybe not win a championship, but um, probably make a deep run or, you know, uh, win a playoff series that maybe they shouldn't win. So that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about five teams here, and I want to start off with the Dallas Mavericks. Now, I don't th really think that anybody's really talking about the Mavericks, but the Mavericks have been on a run lately. They've been on a run lately, and I am on record on this channel talking about how ass the Suns are, and I only give a fuck about one player on the Suns. Y'all already know that's Jalen Brunson. He has been so goddamn good for them, bro. He's taken a big-ass leap, man, and I'm happy that he has. He's actually, you know, been reliable, and he's been very effective um in crunch time as he showed um last night and the Mavericks literally just beat the Warriors the Mavericks just beat the Warriors um and I think they're sitting at like fourth in the east right now they're doing their thing man I was really sitting here in the beginning of the season thinking oh damn did Luke is Luca having a down year right now um so I remember somebody tweeted out they're like um Luca's having a down year and everybody was disagreeing but I'm sitting here like I think he probably is. Like, this was, like, two months into the season. I was like, damn, Luka really isn't being Luka now. But the month of February, Luka has been Luka plus more, man. Because the Mavs defense has been just amazing. I don't know why they really traded Chris Porzingis. I still don't understand that a little bit. Um, I do understand why they got Spencer Dinwiddie, though. And that's to get some of the weight off of, uh, Luka's shoulders with this playmaking shit. Um, now Luka doesn't have to, you know, have the ball in his hands as much because um, since Spencer Dinwiddie's doing some of the playmaking, Luka's doing some of the playmaking. And I think that that's very good um, for Luka's sake. So he doesn't have as many touches on the ball. And Spencer Dinwiddie does that. He does very good in that, um, in that role. I'm surprised that they didn't try to get Goran Dragic in the um in the buyout market. I don't know why they didn't, because they were talking about it for the longest time, but somehow they didn't get him. Um, they got Spencer Dinwiddie instead, which I don't think is a bad you know replacement for quote unquote Goran Dragic. You know what I'm saying? Um, their defense has been amazing. Their defense has been amazing. I think since February, it is probably the best defense in the league. If you ask me, I don't really know any stat that can, like, prove that. But um, if you ask me from the eye test, their defense has, you know, been amazing, bro. They're kind of switch heavy, um, same way as the Boston Celtics. And they have been very good lately. They've been very good lately. And I am on record saying that Jason Kidd fucked this offense up. Jason Kidd did this. Jason Kidd did that. And, you know, now I'm sitting here regretting what I said because the Dallas Mavericks are it, man. The Dallas Mavericks are it, and I'm I'm not gonna lie. Right now, um, they would be going. Actually, they're the fifth seed. They would be going against the Utah Jazz right now, and I think that if they get out of that, I genuinely do think that they can go the distance. I don't see why they can't because Luca has never gotten out the first round. Luca has not gotten out the first round because of one team, and that's the that's the damn uh, L.A. Clippers, man. That's the LA Clippers, but he ain't gonna see them in the first round this time because they're all the way down in the AC right now. They actually have been hooping their ass off. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Tyron Lue. Shout out to Reggie Jackson because Reggie Jackson just dropped off the Lakers last night. And I already said I wasn't gonna talk about the Lakers because this ain't a Lakers video. Trust me, they ain't in this damn video. If the playoffs started right now, they would be going against the Utah Jazz, and we already know what the hell the Utah Jazz got going on. Um, I already made a video on that. They got some issues, and they got some locker room issues going on there. So if Luca and the Mavs can capitalize off that after, you know, how hot they are right now, I genuinely do think that they can go the distance, and they can actually win that series, man. I think they can win that series and possibly go on. I'm not saying that they can win the championship. I'm not saying that, um, that damn, maybe they can even make it out of the second round. But I feel like they have a very good chance of making it out of the second round. I think people need to, you know, open their eyes to that a little bit. 
that's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here. The next thing I want to talk about is the Denver Nuggets. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably like, oh, the Nuggets are depleted. The Nuggets have nobody but Jokic. Get Jokic some help. But guess what? He's going to have some help soon because Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray are going to be back very, very, very soon. Now, if you guys don't remember last April, Jamal Murray, you know, suffered a torn ACL um, against the Golden State Warriors. And before that, the Nuggets were literally the best team in basketball. I think people need to, you know, open their eyes and realize that because if we get a healthy Jamal Murray and if we get, um, you know, even like 80% of Michael Porter Jr. of what he was last year, bro, I think that this team could damn near win a championship. And I'm not even, you know, trying to sugarcoat anything because you can literally plug these guys in to the lineup immediately when they get back and when they get cleared and not have like any concerns whatsoever about your chemistry because one, these guys already played together. And two, you have Nikola Jokic on your team, bro. Well, I've I've been saying this numerous of times. In my opinion, Jokic is my MVP as of right now. And to be honest with you, man, if you have Jokic on your team, you have a winning chance because this man is one of the winningest players in you know NBA history right now. Right now, the Nuggets sit at six in the East right now without those two guys that I was just mentioning. And this is what I mean by if you have the reigning MVP on your team, you have a fighting chance because you don't even have to play in the plan. I mean, obviously, you don't have home court advantage, but you don't have to play in the plan, which is very, very good for your team, especially with a team with literally no all-stars besides you. I mean, come on. I genuinely do think that this team can do some damage. And another team that I think can do some damage is my Boston Celtics. You know, I'm not going to start because I've talked about the Celtics way too much on this channel, and I'm going to be completely unbiased when I say this. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about them because I talk about them so much on this channel. But um, come playoff time, I think that this team can really, really lock in on defense. Um, we've been doing that basically all season long. But once it matters most, I think you'll see, you know, a very big leap in our defense. I mean, obviously, our defense is very, very good right now. But I think come playoff time, we're going to, you know, kick it up a notch. You feel me? And to be honest with you, I think the Celtics got the best defense in the East. I don't give a damn about the Milwaukee Bucks defense. I don't give a damn about no Cavs, Cavaliers, Twin Towers, uh, triple big lineup, whatever the fuck they got going on in Cleveland. I don't care about that. I don't give a damn about the Miami Heat's defense and how good it is. The Celtics have the best defense in the damn East, bro. So y'all need to watch out for that, bro. Another thing about the playoffs is that it's very, very ISO heavy, bro. If you guys haven't watched the playoffs in, you know, recent years, you guys have known that it has progressed into a very ISO heavy basketball games. You know what I'm saying? And who has the best two ISO players in the East right now? The Boston Celtics. They got Jalen Brown. They got Jason Tatum. Hopefully, they can stay consistent when they are playing that ISO ball because I have noticed that they haven't really um, been efficient when they do go ISO uh, during this whole entire stretch, which I need them to, you know, pick up on and I need them to actually work on that because come playoff time, we're going to need those timely buckets. We're going to need those ISO buckets um, and we're going to need to get bailed out sometimes because some teams will be playing good defense one night and then we're not going to be playing good defense one night. Sometimes we're going to need those type of buckets, you feel me? And hopefully JB and JT can, you know, deliver. Another team I want to talk about and it's going to be kind of surprising is the Atlanta Hawks. Now, I know that they are two games under 500 right now, but they just beat one of the best teams in the East right now in the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, they didn't have Lonzo, they don't have Alex Caruso, but at this point, you can't even say that because these games that the Bulls are losing are not games where it even has anything to do with defense. That's the thing. I am still a firm believer in this Atlanta Hawks team because I still do believe that their run in 2021 playoffs was not a fluke, to be honest, because if you guys have been following the Hawks this season, you've noticed that they're saying, oh, the regular season don't matter. Um, the regular season don't count. It's playoffs where it counts. And, you know, it's kind of hindered them a little bit because they're sitting at, I want to say they're sitting at ninth in the east right now no that's the nets they're sitting at 10th in the east right now and literally it's not looking pretty for them it's not looking pretty for them at all i need them to step it up and if they actually do make the playoffs i think that they'll have um a little bit of incentive to actually you know play defense and to win games uh this team is talented they have trey young one of the best players um in the east right now not to mention he has weapons he has bogdanovich who loves the spotlight 
um, who can hit clutch buckets. They have John Collins, who has been out lately. Um, they have Clint Capella, a good pick and roll partner for Trey Young. They have Kevin Herter, a nice little, um, a nice shooting guard. They have bench pieces like Onyeko Conwell. I've already preached how much I love Onyeko Conwell on this channel. Um, and they have defensive players like DeAndre Hunter. Um, I don't see why this team still can't do damage in the playoffs. Obviously, the East is very stacked right now. But I want to see this team take a team to seven. That's what I want to see. I, act, I think my ceiling for this team right now is to get at least one playoff win. I don't think they're going to by any means because my expectations for this team have, you know, been shot for the whole entire season. So I'm not going to, you know, get my hopes up if they do make the playoffs, if they, you know, face like a Chicago Bulls type team. You know, obviously I'll have some hope in the team because I do want Trey to succeed. But at the same time, I don't think that this team can win a playoff series. But... I do want them. To, I do want to see them take a really good team of seven, bro. Because this team is talented. They just haven't um, unlocked their fullest potential yet. And to be honest, if this team don't even make the damn playoffs, forget I even said anything. Forget this video even existed because the, the Hawks are ass if they don't make the playoffs. Come back to this. The Hawks are ass. Another team that I want to talk about, they're also in the play-in. Um, this might be shocking to some of y'all. Some of y'all might not find it shocking, but it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now. Um, this is another playing team that I think can do some damage if they do make the playoffs. Because I actually want to see what the hell they can do. Cat has not been to a playoff since, what, 2019, 2018? Since, um, Jimmy Butler days. And he wants more of that. He wants more of that. This team is hungry. This team wants to win. And it shows on the damn court. I mean, they have so many offensive weapons. Like Carl Anthony Towns, like I mentioned. They have D'Lo. They have um, guys like uh, Anthony Edwards who really, really want to play in the damn playoffs. And I think that if this team does make it, that they can actually do something. Um, if the playoffs ended, or if the playoffs started right now, they'd be playing the uh, Golden State Warriors. Obviously, I don't think they're going to win that series if they do. But, I mean, they just beat them by 15. They just beat them by 15. Cat gave them, Cat gave them some shit, bro. Cat gave them some shit. He had 39 points. I think he had like nine rebounds or some shit like that, that or something. I don't know. But Cat went off on them. Uh, I don't think that this team, you know, can win a playoff series. It depends on who they go against. But I think that they can do some damage and actually win some games in the playoffs is what I really want to see from them. I'm really intrigued. I'm intrigued on what this team can do. And I really want this team to make the playoffs because they are, they have very good defense. Um, they have, you know, playoff experience on the team in Patrick Beverly, um, some playoff experience in Carl Anthony Towns, uh, some playoff experience in D'Lo. But I really want to see what this team could do as a unit, man, in the playoffs. I really want to see it. Obviously, I don't think they're going to win anything, as I said, but I'm very excited for this team. That's all I got for y'all today, man. I just wanted to make a quick ass video for you guys. Uh, I told you guys I was going to be on this grind and I ain't stopping. I ain't stopping. I'm uploading almost every single fucking day because I do not care, bro. Every video is about to go up. I told y'all 17 videos a day, bro. Y'all better be ready. But I'm about to get out of here. I'm talking too much. Uh, I'm out this bit.